supposed to be the government is in cahoots with places like Pret and Eat to get certain office workers back into the office because I guess in most, um, you know, downtown places across the UK where office blocks would be and where places like Pret and Eat would reside, they're really suffering because no one's in the offices, right? So they're not making any money. So there's this weird push from the government to get more people to, you know, leave their humble abode, leave the comfort of working from home for the last six to eight months to suddenly now go back into the office just so they can prop up an economy or prop up a business that they have no financial interest in and that, you know, it doesn't benefit them in the least except for an expanding weights line. If you're used to eating those, uh, what, they, those lasagna bacon melt things they have in there. So this is an interesting development. Another company stepped forward, not Pret, not Eat, but Dettol, have got these weird advertisements plastered around the London Underground at the moment, sort of weirdly implying people to go back to the offices, which is so bizarre. It kind of reminds me of an episode of The Simpsons where they have this sort of like universal mind power thing about joining the Navy. Do you remember that? Joining the Navy and sort of done backwards. It kind of reminds me of this. So this is an advert. It says the following. It's a poster on the Underground Tube. It writes, says the follow here, um, hearing an alarm, putting on a tie, carrying a handbag, receptionist, caffeine filled air, taking a lift, seeing your second family, water cooler conversations, proper bants, the boss's jokes, plastic plants, office gossip, those weird carpets, face to face meetings, not having a lunch, not having to make lunch, CCing, BCCing, accidentally replying to all, uh, hearing buzzwords, leaving early for a cheeky afternoon in the sun. Disinfected services we use throughout the day so we can do all again tomorrow. The little things we do to protect the little things we love, keep protecting, which is obviously a little, you know, a little nod to office culture, sort of like eulogizing it as if some kind of haven, some kind of a uh, uh, resting place for most adults is ridiculous. This is like what is this like adult Narnia working in the office, right? Like this is a bliss. This is what you have to look forward to. Have put in, have to put an alarm on. Um, I'm guessing there's a lot of people now waking up with their normal circadian rhythm nowadays if you're working from home, right? Because you don't need to put your alarm on for the most part. You know, you probably sleep at a normal time. You wake up at probably a decent hour, especially if the weather's good. Um, that's pretty good for you in general going forward. Put on a tie. Probably don't need to do that unless you're doing a Zoom meeting again. You can always be free down below. Carrying a handbag, that's always annoying especially when you forget stuff receptionists and stuff is probably my best part of the day right bumping into receptionists or front of house people that work in the office block you work in usually is a lot better than actually talking to your actual colleagues um caffeine filled air i'm not a fan of that taking a lift again not a fan of that because you end up being in lifts with people that you don't really want to be in lifts with or you end up having to wait 10 minutes for one because no one wants to walk um seeing your second family that's a bit of a stretch that's a, that's that kind of um that's that kind of uh guilt trip game that startups do to you in it where they say oh you're a family you're going to change things you're going to change the world impact society it's like no you're not no you're not you're just retweeting stuff you're just sending emails Matt. you know what i mean you're doing seo uh, that's not changing the world water cooler conversations yeah it is what it is um i guess you got slack you could just do that on there proper bants that's a bit gay i'm not a fan of that one bosses jokes no one laughs at those unless you're trying to, you know, work your way up. Uh, plastic plants. Usually most places have legit plants. Front, you know, usual office managers don't let you have shitty plants. They take a lot of pride in how they uh, decorate the space. Office gossip. No one cares about that for the most part. It's usually dead stuff. You usually find out the best stuff when you go out for drinks, not in the actual office. Those weird carpets. Yeah, I agree. Maybe that was the best one. Face-to-face -face meetings. They could always be a bit odd, especially when people... Face face meetings are interesting, especially when you're working in teams where no one really knows what they're doing. They usually uh, are an interesting place for people to come and sort of like oddly justify their position, right? By, you know, ringing off a litany of stuff that they're doing in a week. Here's my goal, objective, all these plans. It's like, look, just get to the point. No one really cares. Do you know what I mean? Wrap it up, my G. Um, not having to make lunch. That again, I don't know. I don't know about life. Um, CCing, BTCing. Actually, every company I've worked in, Every production team, or every, no, all the product teams, never buy, never, uh, never make their own lunch. They always buy it, which is insane. But you know, considering what they make, it makes more sense. But bloody hell, man, I have so I have so much um, decision making paralysis. When I have too many options in front of me, I always just go for the thing that just makes sense, or 
would go for the easiest option because I don't want to waste any more brain power or get stressed out. Um, that results in me having to, you know, I'm the kind of person that will stand in front of the rack of baguettes in a pret a manger, be stroking my chin for 10 minutes and then pick up the same chicken and bacon or avocado thing that I get all the time. Do you know what I mean? No change. <laughs> um cc bcc yeah whatever gay again I, I i hate replying to emails unless i have to um, accidentally replying to all never done that hearing buzzwords is always funny but I, I always like to ask questions and find out exactly what those buzzwords are i don't have to pretend like i know them and leave you early for a cheeky afternoon in the sun yeah never been about that life actually uh, i've never been game for leaving early um cheek cheeky drinks I've always felt like if I'm leaving, I'm going to go home, right? I don't like to kind of give myself that sort of like fake hope that, and then kind of be like, oh, no, I have to go back and then get myself revved up again. I'd rather give 120% during the whole nine to five. And then once I'm off, I'm off. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, people are different. But I'm not too sure if this is an actual way to get people back into work or if it's just a coincidence. But, you know, these big brands, they've definitely got some um, connections or some links to our government up above so i'm sure there is something more to this but it seems eerily coincidental right that the government's talking about people going back in the office and then suddenly you've got this massive advert in the underground talking about you know wiping down your surfaces so that you can have banter with your friends at work so mm, that's not a good enough reason for you to go back on the central line mate you gotta come back with something more but let me know let me know